Hello friends, welcome to OAY shop. Today I will show you how to on display error any share hosting or any app, any other hosting that have cPanel. Sometimes developer have error on their program but they cannot understand what was the issue because the error is showing like page is not working let me show you this type of error this is page not working and currently unable to handle error or error 500 so please watch full video till end and don't forget to subscribe our channel and like let's start the video this is the error so we need to go to cpanel account so we can fix from that we don't know what was the error now so we need to go mm, i just open new tab and time the save domain example now it's asking the username password so i just type here yes i successfully logged in that account now i need to type here php there is the option php my admin PHP my manage PHP select person and PHP INI editor. We need this PHP INI editor. Need to click here. I am using the subdomain for this testing purpose. So here is an option to choose the subdomain domains and you can choose home directory to for all. So let's select this subdomain. Now there is a option allow URL F open. This is means it's call internally other pages or externally other file. It's allow include. This is a file uploading. If you disable that, you cannot upload or user cannot upload by program. So I just enable it and the most thing what I need to do that it's display error. You can see that it's disable. So for that no error is showing from the server. So I need to enable it and go to the end of the page and click apply. So it's successfully apply the settings. Now go back to this url or site now refresh it again now you can see the exact error what is the error this error is parse syntax error in page index.php line 9 let's go to the cpanel again and click on cpanel there is a file manager you can use ftp filezilla whatever you like I just open this okay I am now let's go to the file location is example now index.php just edit it it's open another tab yes there is a mistake on line number nine means it's end of the eight there is the eight is blank so it's go to seven there is a semicolon missing so just save it and go and refresh it again so this way we can fix a role or off thanks for watching this video 
uh, if you have any type of issue or uh, cpanel error or any any type of just comment it uh, and share your experience also um, thank you for watching again have a nice day bye bye